Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your April 2020 general reading. We're looking at April 1st to the 15th, and this reading is for Libra. This is actually a redoing, uh, a second video. The first uh, Libra video that I did for April 1st to the 15th uh, was posted, but there was something wrong with the video. Um, thank you for those of you who drew my attention to it. When I went into the video and tried to play it myself, I just couldn't. So this is obviously not a video that is meant to be out for Libra. So I am redoing uh, your video, Libra. My apologies for, um, well, the few days delay, although today technically is April 1st. I posted them just a few days ago. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, um, and when I do the mid-month Libras, I will post yours first. So my apologies for putting out a video that nobody could watch. But evidently it wasn't meant to be watched, so we're going to do a new one. Uh, as always, watch all of your signs because uh, it can provide additional clarification. Uh, general readings always resonate a little differently for everyone. And as usual, if any of the videos do resonate with you and you'd like to take a deeper look at something, take advantage of any of the reading services I offer, the specials I'm offering right now, you can just click on the description link below, click on that little arrow, and you'll see some contact details. You can email me at maggie, the number one, mcguire at gmail.com. <clears throat> I can usually get back to you within the same day with more information, and uh, scheduling is done pretty good. Uh, in terms of time efficiency. We are all spending a lot of time at home right now, and even though I am staying uh, quite busy with readings, I can usually fit you in uh, right now within a fairly short period of time, uh, depending on the length of time. So let's move right into this. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy and as sane as possible. All right, Libra, let's see what's in store for you for April 1st to the 15th. That's over the next two weeks. This is for Libra Sun, Libra Moon, Libra Rising, if your Venus is in Libra, or if you're cross-watching for a Libra as well. <clears throat> for those of you who need to know, I am using the Legacy of the Divine Tarot by artist Cyril Morichetti. Beautiful deck. I love this artist. Okay, Libra, we begin with the seven. Followed by the sun. We have faith, which in other decks is known as the Hierophant. Followed by the nine of cups. From the bottom of the deck, your overall energy for the first half of April is the eight of swords. It's a card I'm seeing, up, I'm seeing come up a lot for readings lately, the Eight of Swords, the Tower, the Hanging Man, the Hermit, the Four of Swords. <clears throat> Eight of Swords. It's a card that represents feeling bound, feeling trapped. Um, I, I'm not laughing at you, Libra. Well, sort of, but it's kind of like a lot of us are kind of at least periodically going through this energy right now. Uh, with the global pandemic and this, the, the mandatory stay-at-homes, shelter-in-place, so I think a lot of us are sometimes uh, feeling this way, feeling trapped, feeling bound, feeling helpless, feeling restricted. Um, <clears throat> the, the positive aspect to the Eight of Swords, though, is that it's, it's mental energy. Um, swords is governed by the element of air, which governs our mind, belief systems, ideologies, words, communications. So the Eight of Swords <coughs> is often, uh, excuse me, so many readings, my voice is raspy. Um, the Eight of Swords is a card that can represent um, feeling like you're in a situation that you can't free yourself. And while it typically is mental energy, uh, I know, again, with a lot of the, the mandates and, and restrictive, you know, activity, uh, the activity restrictions that are in place now because of the virus pandemic, a lot of us are feeling this way mentally because physically we have less freedom uh, to move around. Um, and this is a card about feeling, you know, kind of like your mind hijacking 
uh, your fear is hijacking your logical, rational mind. It represents feeling like, you know, you're in a position that you, you can't free yourself from, um, whether it's physically or mentally or a combination of both. Again, which a lot of people are going through right now, so it's quite understandable. <clears throat> we have uh, the Seven of Wands, <clears throat> clarified by the Sun. Seven of Wands, I'm actually going to do the two upper cards and then the two clarifying cards. We have the Seven of Wands and Faith, which again, in a lot of other decks is uh, called the Hierophant. So the Seven of Wands is a card of defensive energy. It's a card of uh, standing up for something that you feel strongly about, standing up for yourself, for someone else, for an ideology. It, it's a card that represents guarding, protecting, and defending and next to it, we have faith, the Hierophant, which represents, it can represent a lot of things, uh, organized religions, institutions, corporations, uh, the establishment. It represents taking things to a deeper level of commitment and responsibility. The status quo, it's, it's about things that uh, Being under the umbrella of a system or a society or, you know, even even cultural or ethnic backgrounds that make us feel, uh, that can make us feel kind of sheltered and secure and safe. There is sometimes uh, a mild to moderate self-sacrificial energy in, in faith or the Hierophant um, because systems or governing umbrellas aren't set up for the individual. Um, they're set up for a group of people. So sometimes there is, there's always adherence to one certain set of policy or regulations, whether it's government or university or hospitals or religions or, you know, uh, marriage, uh, cultural identity. Um, so sometimes there is a bit of self-sacrifice in terms of individuality and self-expression, uh, but it also uh, represents a, a governing umbrella uh, that makes us feel safe and solid and stable and reliable. And the reason that I'm kind of feeling this here, right next to, you know, this guarding, protecting, defensive energy, which is also kind of the energy of faith in the Hierophant too, is because I think it's kind of linked to what we're all going through right now too, especially now today, I am actually doing this video or redoing this video on April 1st. And, uh, you know, for those of you that follow the news or social media or what's going on, things change from day to day. And these two cards, the energy of these two cards together are about kind of clinging to the things that make us feel um, defensively guarding and protecting those things that make us feel safe, solid, stable, reliable. It gives us a sense of continuity, a sense that, you know, Whatever we have to go through, we're in it together. We're going to get through it together and we're going to find ourselves on the other side of it together and kind of steadfastly protecting that, defending that, guarding that, uh, and trying to hang on to that during a time period where we feel so kind of helpless and restricted. Underneath the energy of the Seven of Wands and Faith are the energies that are kind of driving those feelings. We have the Sun and the Nine of Cups, which are both excellent energies. Um, What's clarifying this defensive, protective, guarding energy is the sun, which is a beautiful card. It's one of the most powerfully positive cards in the tarot, not only in its own energy, because when the sun comes out, it encourages life, love, warmth, laughter. The sun shines after the darkness. Uh, even if there's no clear solution, everybody feels better. And when the sun rises, it illuminates and shines and clarifies. It uplifts uh, 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 the mood. It's it's a card that represents a loosening up uh, of previously restrictive energies and uh, it brings clarity and illumination. It's also a card that when it comes out in a spread has the ability to affect other cards in its spread just like uh, the actual sun does. When the sun comes out it shines over everything and it affects everything and also when the sun card comes out in a tarot spread, it has the ability to kind of influence and affect surrounding cards too. Um, positive cards get kind of a bit of a boost. Negative cards can be lessened somewhat by the energy of the sun. Um, so it's about kind of holding onto that energy, defending, protecting that energy, struggling through a time period, which is very difficult and very restrictive for many of us, if not all of us. 
Um, I really like this uh, spread because it represents kind of faith and hope and strength um, through adversity and having that belief that the sun, yes, will again shine for us. What's clarifying, what's the energy that's clarifying and driving uh, faith or the Hierophant is the Nine of Cups. This is the wish fulfillment card. This is a card of happiness and of abundance and of feeling like your, your cups are overflowing. It's a card that represents, you know, getting what you want. Not just getting what you want, but having an overflowing of abundance here. On a more specific level, some of you during this time, I think many of us during this time are fiercely kind of holding on to that which makes us feel safe, solid, stable, reliable, gives us a sense of continuity. And that's going to differ across the board, which it often does in general readings because there's so many of you watching. You know, it's about defending and protecting and holding on to, to what makes us feel safe, solid, stable, reliable, what keeps us believing in, you know, the sun and the nine of cups. It's, again, this is a spread that speaks purely of strength through adversity, going through a hard time, going through very difficult times, times where you feel perhaps so helpless to do anything, um, but, but holding fast to all of the things that we do that gives us a sense of, you know, that the sun is going to come out and shine again and that there will be uh, happiness and abundance for us. And we're kind of holding on to that in different ways. For some of you, faith might actually represent uh, you know, religion, uh, religious ideologies. It can represent family or cultural roots and identities. It can represent, you know, um, uh, a certain system that's set into place. Uh, you know, even even just maintaining the same day-to-day -day routine that you normally do, or at least as much as you can right now. Um, because what's underneath this reading, what's driving this reading, even though there is this sense of feeling, you know, like you're all chained up and trapped and all these swords are pointing at you and all the fears and anxieties are kind of hijacking our brain. But underneath this, we have the sun and the nine of cups. This is strength through adversity. Any way you look at it, whether you look at this as uh, a career finance business reading, going through difficulties, going through hardships, uh, but holding on to that which keeps you safe and stable and sane uh, in love and relationships, and health issues, it's the same thing. This is all about strength through adversity. And during that ad adversity, um, during these difficult times, it's about maintaining some kind of, even if it's not faith or religious based or institutionally based, it's about maintaining a structure to the best of your ability um, that's going to get us through each day until, uh, until this is over with. Um, whether that's just trying to maintain your normal day-to-day -day routine of getting up, taking a shower, and eating your Wheaties or cooking your eggs or, you know, reaching out and touching base with the people um, that you do. Um, it's a real temptation sometimes during times of um, a, a very difficult, challenging, testing times to kind of let our day-to-day -day routine slide or, you know, just start living in our pajamas all day. And it's not that there's anything wrong with doing that. But, um, and I believe in actually indulging in doing that from time to time, because it's nice to kind of have that freedom. Um, but this particular reading labor, particularly for you guys, <clears throat> is all about holding on to structures and trying to maintain some semblance of normalcy in a world where things are not normal right now. And that's what's going to help get us through. Faith and the Hierophant is also about groups and groups, um, you know, this is, it, it's a we energy and not a me energy. It represents being part of a greater whole, which is what kind of sustains us, especially right now when most of us, uh, or when a lot of us, are our only social contact is through social media, um, or for those of you who still have to go out there and work, you know, grocery stores, delivery, medical personnel, God bless all of you for keeping us going at this time. You know, um, it, it's, it's about feeling like we're part of a, like we're part of something bigger than ourselves and doing what we can in our small way to kind of contribute to that and uh, keep connected and try to help other people keep connected too. And fiercely kind of doing that because that's what's going to get us through and that's what's going to bring this energy of the sun and the nine of cups back again because we'll get through this, we will. So, 
let us pull one or two additional guidance and advice cards for you, Libra. You know, it could be that the initial video failed, Libra, because more of you needed to hear this message today. I don't know uh, why that is. Um, that's several pay grades above my knowledge, you know, in terms of the powers that be. Uh, but all I know is that this is the video that needed to go out today for those of you that are watching. This is a good video, actually, for anyone to watch because it is about holding together, maintaining connections, um, holding fast to what keeps us going because that is what's going to get us through all of this. More. Oh, I'll count. Okay, let's see. Advice Libra for the first half of April. We have the Knight of Cups and the Nine of Wands. Perfect. The Knight of Cups. He charges out offering his cup of water. Water is the element which governs the suit of cups, and this is emotions. This is about our emotional landscape, feelings, relationships, connections with other people. Knights are the deliverers, the bringers. So the knights of the Knight of Cups trudges in, and he offers his cup of love, his cup of support, his cup of encouragement. This is about uh, offering this, and this is also about receiving this. Um, so this is a card that's coming out for advice, Libra. And again, this probably is a video that can be across the board for all 12 of the zodiac signs. What's going to also help us get through as advice and feedback is to offer yourself when and where you can, uh, whether that's in a physical way to see if people need help or need things. Um, this is about reaching out with love, support, encouragement, humor, contact. Again, of course, keeping yourself physically safe and staying within all the mandates that are in place today to the best of your ability. This is about giving and receiving of love, support, and encouragement. It's a we card too, you know, just like faith is. And it makes sense too, even just on a psychological basis, because a burden shared is a burden lessened even by a little bit. And also uh, reaching out to other people and staying connected to other people and helping other people in whatever way we can, even if it's just a phone call or connecting with people online. Um, this It kind of takes us out, even momentarily, of our own unique personal challenges and struggles. And uh, it helps to know that we're not the only ones going through this. And also sharing somebody else's burden kind of takes us out of our, our own for a while. And when we come back to it, it helps us kind of maintain a more uh, uh, a healthier emotional balance. And also as advice, we have the Nine of Wands. This again is the strength through adversity. This is the pushing through card. This is a card that shows somebody who's already been through quite a lot, a number of battles and challenges. And here again, this grouping of wands, is yet another one, another hurdle, another obstacle, you know, something else that has to be faced and dealt with. And you're already tired, you're already exhausted, you've already fought a lot of battles. This is about, you know, sinking down to one knee and holding on to a wand and going, oh my gosh, how am I going to get through this? How do I push through this? Can I? Should it just give up? Second guessing yourself. But tens represent completion in the tarot, a cycle coming to an end. Uh, we're at a nine here. So this is, this is my, again, it's strength through adversity. This is my push through card. This is the, the card, the dark night of the soul, the 11th hour, it's darkest before dawn. We will get through this. There's just, it's just about getting through what's in front of us right now. Uh, it's almost always the push through card. And, and here, this is what it is. And it clarifies or drives the Knight of Cups. Remember, these are advice and guidance for you, Libra, for the first half of April. Reach out as much as you can when possible. Again, keeping yourself safe. It's going to help. It's going to help take us out of our own individual sorrows and challenges. And even just sharing some of those with other people's and them sharing theirs with us is a way of kind of lessening the burden and also making us feel in all these times of, of isolation and restriction that other people are going through the same thing and feeling a little less alone. And that's what's going to help us get through um, all of this, again, strength through, uh, strength through adversity and not just strength through adversity individually, but reaching out and staying connected with other people too. And that's what's going to get us back to this sun energy, which we will have again. So Libra, that is your reading for the first half of April. Um, I hope that you found it helpful. Um, 
evidently this is the one that needed to go out today. I actually kind of needed to see this again today. So many people are going through uh, difficulties and struggles right now, and I'm hearing about uh, so many of them during the course of the day with the readings I do. Uh, so it's really nice to see uh, this kind of hopeful strength through adversity, um, and we're in this together uh, kind of energy. So uh, it's my hope that all of you stay uh, safe and healthy and as sane as possible. Uh, do what you can through this period. I will see you all again in a couple of weeks for the April 2020 mid-month general readings. Uh, again, if any of you want to reach out to me for a personal reading, uh, I do offer a lot of different reading services and I am running some specials right now, some one and two question specials. If you're interested, just email me at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com, which you can find by clicking on the link below, clicking on that little arrow. I will see you all in a couple of weeks and all my love and blessings and protection out to you and I'll see you soon.